going to the gun show. <laughs> uh. Yeah, do you have your tickets? To the gun show! Everyone's going to the March for Life in DC today. We're going to a gun show outside of Philly. Same thing. Yeah. That's <laughs> different. <laughs> I told everyone, I was like, oh, we're gonna go troll people at a gun show. Jolly Good Ginger said, oh, can you not get shot while making fun of people to their face? Jolly was like, can you call me afterwards to make sure that like no one shot you at this thing? I think that's fair. Yeah, I, I think that's and it's also reasonable. I mean, like what you should do is you should bet him $10 that you don't get killed. Yeah. And you only have to pay. Uh, sorry, you, you only get that money. You don't have to pay. Is there something wrong with me that I didn't think of that until he spoke to me about it? Well, I mean, you don't think these guys are gonna irresponsibly use their firearms, <laughs> right? I want to get fireworks, and you brought extra cash to buy a gun. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, it's the same thing, isn't it, right? It, like, it's, fireworks are illegal in New York, and they're so easy to get here in Pennsylvania, so it's just a really quick drive. Like, I can't imagine what it'd be like if fireworks were banned in Pennsylvania. I mean, I, I kind of feel like people in New yeah. York wouldn't drive further than that <laughs> to get an that illegal firework. People, are, people do go to Pennsylvania to get guns and fireworks a lot, a lot. Yeah. Okay, so what are we gonna do with the gun once you buy it? Looking it up, New York City has a cash for guns program where they'll pay you two hundred dollars for your gun, no questions asked. Oh, okay. But it's illegal for us to bring it from Pennsylvania to New York. What are we doing with this gun once we get it? Uh, well, my friend actually is a prop master for TV shows, and he says they could always use guns. I can give them to him. They have a process of turning it into a like set safe gun, and he's gonna buy it from you. Yeah. So you're gonna sell him a gun? Yeah. Or give it to him if selling it to him is illegal. Can Look. he just, can he tell you like the way to dismantle a gun so that it's legal to carry? I mean, we're not just like we don't just have a gun in our car. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't be recording this part until we actually think through what we're gonna do with it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because I'm, I'm like, should we do we toss the gun in no, the river? Roger, maybe we shouldn't be recording this part until. We school teachers and we're trying to arm ourselves uh, for the next active shooter in our yeah. school. So we just go in there and where, where are we teaching? We're from Connecticut and we teach at Lincoln Elementary. So we're gonna ask them like, okay, I want something small enough where I can conceal it better. And also if I get shot, I wanna be able to pass it off to one of my students. Actually, uh, this is actually a true story uh, from when I used to teach high school. Um, our world history teacher actually got sent to the rubber room. He got suspended because he punched a student for mouthing off. Can you imagine if he had a gun? That kid wouldn't have been so mouthy. Substitute or he was a full-time teacher? No, full-time teacher. <clears throat> I ended up picking him for his class. You used to teach U.S. history? Mm -hmm. How long? No, just a year. I tutored the AP U.S. for years. And like all these things are just like basic questions that most high school students should know. I think they don't, but they should. <laughs> what is funny is you pointed this out that every time they think they're quoting the Constitution, they're really quoting the Declaration of Independence. Right, because the Declaration of Independence has all the, you know, from our creator, by God, divine stuff. And they're like, yeah, Constitution doesn't mention God. So the place that sells fuck Biden and Gadsden flags, coincidentally, sells swastika flags. The Confederate flag brass knuckle knife. Look, actually, I've used the toy now. Rubber band gun. So, <laughs> no, no paperwork. Yeah, that's something. So, this is the only one with no paperwork. So, if a school shooter had a bunch of machetes, you know, they, they'd be like, oh, a machete. Like the machete argument. You heard the machete argument? Oh, no, it's just like, yeah, if we, if we ban guns, then. They'll use machetes. You're they'll like, use yeah, machetes. Because, yeah, because they'll get really far with that. This is wild. I don't know why this thing's more than the gun. You could, you could, right, you could shave with it. Yeah. Chainsaw. This is tactical. This grip is banned in New York, but mm. since we're in Pennsylvania, totally fine. But yeah. I can't buy this here to take back to New York. Right. 
So I'm okay with that. Right. Yeah, but I mean, if you ha if you had a house in Pennsylvania. Yeah. So if you had a house in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania yeah, then yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you have to have a PA driver's license. Right. Right. We're teachers, and we're trying to arm ourselves. Okay. So for like, you know, when there's an active shooter, we were going to get like a pistol, but you're saying we could get this and okay. just. You can get this, yes. Yeah, and this is a New York State compliant AR-15 because it's like everything's happening with an AR-15. We want to, you know, it's like why don't you just give the teachers an AR-15? Well, seriously, yeah. Seriously, no, I, right? Honestly, if you had an armed guard at every classroom mm -hmm. with an AR-15. There's not going to be any issue. Every, yeah, you know just I mean? just put an right. armed guard in every classroom. Yeah. Okay. Give us all AR-15s, or I mean, maybe just give the armed guards yeah, and exactly. AR-15s. Put them at every door. Yeah. To every classroom, and it's uh, fine. I don't. Budget's going to explode. Yeah, but it's I don't. Not, it's like that's the one issue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, this it's is heavy. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Take a face picture. So they. So mind. this is. So this is Wait, a New York, New York com compliant. AR? So you know how you have to have your spur grip. Yeah. Or you have to have a pin magazine. Right. So the spur grip makes it to where you would have a detachable ten round mag. Mm -hmm. But that's why I sell these trigger guards. They are pricey. They're like eighty, and then I sell a, a one finger one for like forty five. Uh -huh. But my buddy makes them. They're for New York and uh, California compliances. And it makes it to where you could have your detachable magazine uh -huh. and you kind of have your pistol grip too. So if you have that, if you grab that feel. Well, so I mean, this is just like. Or you can go with. So this is for a New York compliant AR 15. So this is a New York compliant AR, featureless. Wait, even with the grip? Even with the grip because it's pink. Oh. Yeah, so this is pink, it's locked. Uh -huh. So you cannot take this out. Okay. So what you'd have to do is if you buy it, you go get extended pins that have knobs on them so you can easily pull it out and then you split it in half and this is how you have to load it. That, for but what, what, what are the <laughs> draw, but what don't I get with this? What so what you don't get with a New York compliant AR yeah. is yeah. Tele, uh, telescopic uh, you know stock uh -huh. and then detachable magazine. Well, but I mean, like, if it's like fitted to you, you don't. But how do I but wait? Exactly, so I yeah. So I can't reload. So well, you have to snap it. Up. Yeah, yeah. To reload. Uh -huh. You have to actually break it in half. Okay. Oh, okay. So you only get like ten shots. So essentially, it makes it not an assault rifle uh -huh. because you're not yeah. assaulting shit. Right. It's, it's a little oily because I just like. To oh spray yeah, it down. Just spray. But yeah, so this. So that's a. So this is New York applied. Yeah, that's a Ruger rifle. Wait, is that this the... This is New York compliant. Yep. I have been looking at like these like 1940s like Winchester rifles with the, the wooden thing. It's like, you know, this is what you get in New York. Yeah. You're saying that I legally could just like, God, that's great. Yeah. yeah. No, because everything we get is like, yeah. everything they're like, oh, you can only have this and this and Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they I mean, they're basically for... for you. It's, uh, exactly. It takes rubber bands. Might as, well get, get, get in, might as well get an airsoft. Well, yeah, yeah. no, I mean, if you wanted it, He's like, I, technically, I don't know if I'm allowed to sell the New York people, but like uh -huh. in New York, I could sell it to you there. You know, so next uh -huh. week, if you want to come to Sorgatis to that gun show or whatever, you can just come pick it up. It could be black powder. It oh wait, no. Matter. So this is a this is a flare gun, and you put the and so you and so I can just get these and you put and you put black. You can put whatever you want in it. Essentially, yes. There's videos on how to make the shells oh, nice. to make it a little easier for you. But if you wanted to buy shells. There's a gentleman down there that sells them, but he sells these for like four fifty. So. Oh wow! Wait, yeah. how much are you selling this for? I'm selling that for three eight. So, I'm going in. Like I don't care. Shoot me. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, like honestly, like if we get put an armed guard in a classroom like that, saying, like I, like I literally cannot think of an easier solution, a better solution yeah. for right now. As a teacher saying yeah. that, that, that means a lot. Yeah. You know, I think every teacher should be able to carry. Being a teacher, it's going to be a lot easier for you to get your pistol yeah. permit. Yeah, though I will say, like a guy I worked with, like got uh, suspended because he punched a kid, yeah. and I'm like, I'm like, oh geez, if that guy had a gun, like, uh, yeah. but if we're carrying one of these, yeah, well, exactly. probably, probably you know not. I mean? like, yeah, more, like, yeah, hey, who did into the reading, huh? Exactly, exactly. What did Catcher in the Rye mean to you? Did yeah. you read it? Yeah. Did you finish it? Exactly. Yeah, no, I, like honestly, I think there's a lot of teachers that are going to be like, no, yo, serious. this is, no, well, I mean, it's going to change the learning environment. No, sure. a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, like, I think everyone should have a gun. 
I don't really believe that you should have a background check and stuff, but to keep it out of criminal's hands, I'll go with it. This is the back side. The oh, drag handle goes in the back. Just watch your glasses. Drag handle goes on the back. Okay, so, so, so this way, is the front. The way I would apply, I'm going to flip this way. Wow, it's like, a, like a, in a suit of armor right now. Uh, you think you could teach like that? Do you think like... Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, mean, you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna wear that for eight hours, dude. I, I mean, I'm going to get ripped. Are they all this heavy? So that's going to be level three. That If you want to stop rifle rounds, that's where you have to be on it. Now, look at it in terms of a fast response type system. When you say wear it eight hours a day, you can use that to respond to a situation. Like so it's just hanging up. Yes, yeah, so you, you have it laying somewhere where you can pop it on, see what's going on, pop mm -hmm. it off. So not on all day. So okay. Because you know during our active shooter drills, like they yep. tell us, like yep. you'll get in front of the kids. That's but it. I'm like, all right, great. I'm in front of the kids for five seconds, and then I'm no longer in front you of the pop, kids. You pop it on when you have to. Okay. Yeah. And, and we're ready to teach. So I thank God we got rid of the mask mandates in the schools, and we still have to wear this. I'm a teacher at Lincoln Elementary. I'm yes, trying sir. to do concealed carry. Okay. Do um, you tuck your shirt in a lot? Yeah. Okay, so, so, so to do a concealed carry, you're typically putting them on the inside of the waistband somehow? We're, we're teachers, and we're trying yeah. to arm ourselves for, you know, the classroom. Smith & Wesson bodyguard or something, then 380. Yeah. Because it slips in your pocket, nobody knows it's there, you use a remora type The kids aren't going to see it. The kids aren't going to see it. You can get it with a built-in laser. You pull it out, you hit the button, you know you're already going to hit. Wait, the built-in, so, okay, so the built-in laser. It has a laser built into it. Yeah, you can get that. Uh, oh, which one is this? Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. Okay, you can get Smith with a laser. And, um, wait, wait, the Ruger. Smith & Wesson uh, LCP Body. LCP you can get with a laser. Oh, so. And they're small. It's a little recoil. Uh, okay. Nothing much to them. Yeah, all right. You can find them here, I'm sure. And it's like, because I wanted something small. Let's say I'm incapacitated. I don't want like a student to not be able to use it if I'm taken down. That's why you want something little like that. You don't want a nine millimeter because of the recoil. Yeah. Which one, where, where would they have them here? Oh, check any of the people with pistols. Okay. Ask them if they have a Smith & Wesson bodyguard with the laser. It's low pressure, so like small fingers could use it. Great. That's perfect. Yay, fireworks. Woo! It's... So I think the main thing we learned is it is surprisingly easy to walk out of there with a weapon of death. Quick background check, a couple hundred bucks, you're, you're gone. No questions asked. Exactly. It was actually illuminating. It wasn't just a bunch of white Confederate flags. There was good representation yeah. all around and people, they just wanted to buy guns. Let's just, let's just be honest, that gun show ran the gamut of just cool people, like hobbyists, people that wanted a gun and liked guns. And then there were like literal assholes. We're like, you are a piece of shit. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, and it's tough because how do you design a background check that sorts out pieces of shit from people who are there for legitimately good purposes? Yeah. So I would not feel safer in New York City if everyone had a gun. That yeah. is the literal last thing that would make me feel safe in New York City. And it's like, well, the cops have guns. We know. We're, yeah. we're well aware that the cops have guns in New York City. Yeah, we, I mean, we don't love that either. Our solution for dealing with the cops of New York City is not for everyone to tool up. Yeah, I mean, if you are a firm believer that everyone should have a gun, ride the subway just like twice in your life. Ride the New York City subway at rush hour and then just imagine if everyone had a gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah you think cities are dangerous now? Yeah. Let, let's not play with things that can hurt other people. Right. Let's just do the thing that we love doing best.